Hello, I'm Dr. Mary Frances Barthel. I lead Blessing Health System's Infection Prevention Program. Coronavirus is scary for so many people, but circumstances are also very frustrating. School has been canceled, social events have been postponed, hospitals have instituted strict visiting guidelines. People have been advised to practice social distancing, which means to stay at least six feet apart and to even work from home if they can. Is this too much? Science tells us no. COVID-19 is primarily spread through respiratory droplets, which means to become infected, people must generally be within six feet of somebody who's contagious and come into contact with these droplets. It may be possible that a person can get COVID-19 by touching a surface or object that has the virus on it and then touching their own mouth, nose, or eyes. The symptoms of COVID-19 appear within two to 14 days after exposure. They include fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. This means individuals can be infecting others even before they have any symptoms present. If we do not take important steps now, the American healthcare system will become overwhelmed. We will not have sufficient intensive care unit or regular hospital beds to treat those in need and our emergency rooms will be overcrowded. Here's another way to think about this. You have a party in your home and you invite 50 people. Imagine that they all show up at the same time and try to get through the door at once. It won't work, right? But if they came two at a time over the course of an hour, everyone would get in safely. It's the same thing with coronavirus and hospital capacity. We cannot stop the spread of this virus, but working together, we can flatten the curve. That means we spread out the number of cases that occur over a much longer period of time. And this preserves hospital beds, healthcare supplies, and healthy caregivers for every person who needs them. How can you help flatten the curve? As I mentioned earlier, practice social distancing by staying six feet apart. Only congregate in small gatherings when absolutely necessary. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 15 to 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, use a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Avoid close contact within six feet of people and stay home when you're sick. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue and then throw the tissue in the trash. Use standard household cleansers and wipes which are effective in cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched objects and surfaces. Get enough sleep, eat a healthy diet, drink plenty of fluids and exercise if you are able. These steps will strengthen your immune system and enable you to fight off infections easier. These measures help protect our healthcare capacity and especially for the most vulnerable populations, those older than age 65, and anyone with chronic medical conditions, including lung disease, heart disease, diabetes, kidney disease, and especially those with immune deficiency. Thank you for participating in flattening the curve during this coronavirus outbreak. Guidelines like these and your participation will allow us to manage the outbreak together.